Hey guys, how are you? Welcome to my channel. Today I have a great haul video for you, a small haul. Um, I've been going to this mom and thrift pop store. Um, they don't have regular bags, they use like, you know, recycled bags. That's why I got my TJ Maxx bag. Stay till the end of the video. I have one of my biggest sales that I made on Poshmark buying from this mom and pop thrift store that I go to. Um, I've been going to this thrift store for a couple of years. I stopped going, but I recently went back and let me tell you, I have been found a lot of brands that are selling on Poshmark. Uh, but I also follow a lot of, of resellers and the resellers I follow, they all been mentioned some of these brands that I picked up and things like that. But one thing I've done, guys, is I stopped going to thrift stores on the weekend and that has helped me a lot. And the reason why I stopped doing that because I feel like on the weekends, every single person is hit up those thrift stores and it's crowded. You can't, I can never find anything. If I want something, somebody already got it. So I've been going to the thrift stores on the weekday and on the weekday, I've been finding a lot of items I typically would not find on the weekend. Um, just before I jump into the video, I want to give a quick introduction about who I am. My name is Thrifty Pia. I am a part-time seller here on eBay. Poshmark, Ricardi, Amazon, and I love to share my journey here on YouTube. If you love what I've been sharing on my channel, make sure you hit up that thumb button and also share my channel and subscribe so we can create a community here. So that being said, we're going to jump into some of the items I picked up. Now, I went to the thrift store about a week ago and um, I had only about an hour before the close, but with an hour, I was able to find some good items. I looked up everything before I bought it, but I want you guys to stay till the end of the video because I'm really excited to share one of my biggest sales that I've made on Poshmark. So the first one I picked up now was Exeta. Exeta Dollar. Exeta was a really popular show. I think it was on WB in the 90s. This Barbie right here. Now, the person that's going to buy this is going to be more of a collector. So there are some damages on the box, um, and it was open, but it's still brand new. Like everything is in there, all her weapons, her her shoes, um, things around her arms, her hair is in great condition. So she's being sold for on eBay around forty two dollars. I think some people even had her up to fifty bucks. I'm definitely gonna put her on eBay. It might be one of those items that sit there for a while. I would have put this on Bacardi, but I didn't see too much people selling this type of dollar Bacardi. I saw a lot of listings on eBay. I bought her $10, um, and I think it was well worth it. When I first went into a store, I came across this doll right here. I knew whoever's going to buy it is going to be a collector. I think a fair price, I'm going to list it a little bit high, only because I want attention on it. I'm going to put it for about $50 and I'm going to charge close to $14 for shipping only because I would not put this in a poly bag. Um, whoever is going to buy this will definitely be a collector. I'm going to want to put a big box. And the reason why I keep saying that, just to get off a little topic here, I had sold a Michael Jackson Venture doll um, for about close to $100. Now, I know you guys said, whoo, you found a Michael Jackson. No, the story of this, this is like, I, this is like a different story. I bought this doll on eBay, and I bought this doll because I was doing an 80s theme party for my husband's 40th birthday, which was about almost three years ago. This was just before COVID had hit this whole worldwide pandemic. So I bought this doll, I got a good deal, I think I paid like $30, $20, $20 for it. But this particular doll, after I bought it, it was being resold for like close to $100. I'll put a picture here. I had this doll for about two years, and I stored it in a bin, and the pictures that I had on Bacardi did not look like the pictures that the doll's in right now. So after two years, you know, uh, most of my items, like I keep them in a closet, or some of them I leave them out in the shelves, but leaving the closet, the climate, and when it gets cold, it gets cold, when it gets hot, it gets hot. 
and it's just closed with no air coming out and i think i had other stuff on top, top of it so basically the box got crushed and the person that bought it was a collector and when she got the doll she wasn't happy she was very upset and she wanted her money back now i'm the kind of person if i did something wrong i don't even argue so when she sent me the pictures and what i had you know originally listed it was different so i gave her the money back i still have the doll um i haven't really listed up yet i'm gonna wait for a while because it's like the box is all bent so now i'm like i have to be make sure that when i click exita up that i have to let my buyer know that there's you know some dents around the box because uh, whoever's going to buy this is definitely going to be a collector. So that was the first item I picked up. The next item I picked up, now this one was a good one. Um, this was Free People. That's it. It's a nice shirt, button down shirt. And wait till you guys see the back. Look at the design on the back. So I will put this up here on the side. It's being sold for. Um, I think it's like anywhere from like $40 to $50. I don't know. It could be less than that. But I bought this for, I think I paid $12 for it. But it was on sale for 20%. And you guys could see the tag of free people. It's a size medium. So it's a good size that probably would, you know, it's going to get sold quickly. Now, I know we're going into the summer months. But let me tell you guys, don't let that stop you. If you see a good deal for especially free people it's 20 percent pick it up because you know i live in new england and we don't have long summers and plus people will buy winter clothes all year long it doesn't matter if it's summer spring or winter um because what i what i do is i try to run like i try to run my store kind of like a retail store like right now we're going into spring so i probably will hold off to this and maybe towards like the end of the summer going into like october like, you know, going into fall, I'll put this up. Because if I list it now, I probably won't get that much for it. But if I hold up on it a little bit longer, I'll definitely get what I'm looking for. The next item I picked up, now this was in a $2 bin pile. They had a whole bunch of clothes. But all the clothes they had, unfortunately, this is why it's very important for you to research. They were not that value. That's why they were $2. They threw this in here, which I was a little bit shocked. Um, a lot of people sleep on tabloids. Don't sleep on tabloids. Tabloids is a good brand. It does very good on eBay. Um, you can get anywhere from, depending on what, like, especially with the cardigans, I've sold several cardigans on eBay, and I sold them anywhere from about $15 up to 30 bucks. So this one is a size small, which is um, a good size to sell on eBay. It's a nice black cardigan buttoned down. Now, this might sit for a little while only because it's a black color. People don't usually buy black around spring or summertime. It's more like kind of like a fall color or like a winter color. But you never know. People might buy it. It's short sleeve. Um, it's business casual. I'm, I bought this $2. I think a fair price would be $15. I'm definitely going to put a free shipping because I wanted to make sure. I want to make a quick turnaround. The next one I picked up, this was also in a $2 bin. And it's a DC comic graphic shirt. It's a size extra large. At first, I was not going to pick this up, but I want you guys to look at the corner, see what these are being sold for. So mine's used. It's a mid. It's kind of like a mid condition. It's a size extra large, which is a good size to sell. Um, a shirt like this, I'm probably going to sell it on Mercari. I see these um, be so quickly, quickly, quicker. I can't talk quickly, quicker on Mercari. As you guys could see, it's a nice shirt. I don't know. I, I'm even thinking of keeping it for myself. Um, I really like the graphics. It has Batman, Joker, Batman's in the middle. Um, I don't know. I have some of these characters. I don't know who they are. But I just like, I like the graphic. I love graphic tees. So it feels soft, too. I don't know. I might end up keeping it for myself. Though. All right. So, Got one more item, and then I have the last item to save for you guys, my biggest sale. This one was a good brand, and I was just looking around. I'm like, okay, denim dress. Denim dresses do very good for me. I don't want to put this too close to me because I have my makeup on. Um, but look at the back, guys. Open back, and it has about three bows on it. And guys, I want you to see the kind of seven for all mankind. You guys can see the tags. Uh, okay. 
I bought this dress, I think I paid, let me see, I have my, let's see here, okay, I paid $15 for this dress, but it's, you know what, it's well worth it, uh, because it's going anywhere from 80 I think, up to 100 so I think a good price to be would be $15, not $15, $75 plus shipping, it's a dress I will put on Poshmark. Now, here is the biggest item that I've sold so far. I've been on Poshmark for about two years. I've never sold anything over $100 on Poshmark. This was my first, first sale. I bought this dress at this mom and pop thrift store. And I can't even talk to the store because I'm so excited. <laughs> it's called uh, Rails Ruby. Now, it's new with tag. Now, when I was going through the aisles... And I came across this dress, and I knew it felt expensive. Just the material felt very good. And I was reading the tag quickly, recycle. Anything with recycle or things that are made with earth materials, because some people are trying to do better for the environment, it's going to be expensive. So not thinking more of it, I saw $12. I really like the color. It was green and white and it's strap and it um, kind of like a smock dress. So I said, this will do very good. Especially when I was thinking of Easter, I'm thinking of graduation. I think of all the events why someone would buy this dress. So um, I went to the, the front desk. They told me it was $12. I said, okay, I bought it for 12 bucks. And when I get home, I looked up the dress. It's being sold right now on their website for 2 hundred dollars two hundred dollars it's what is valued at now there's a huge difference with what the market is selling and what you're actually going to sell it for yes it's new but i'm not going to sell it for two hundred dollars because i know that it's going to sit for a very long time and here's the sad part i might never sell it so when i buy things i want to if it's such if it's a high item i know i'm going to get a lot of offers on it so i want a quick and cash turnaround so what I did is I got home, I put at $135. I knew I was not going to sell for $135. I had one lady, she kept giving me low balls. At first, she offered me $50. Come on, guys. I'm asking you $135 and you're going to give me $50? I was like, really? That is so disrespectful, first of all. Giving me a low ball price like that, that is disrespectful, number one. And number two, like... Are you trying to buy it off of me so you could sell it for more than what I'm asking for? Which is what I thought she was doing. So she paid me one time. The second time she paid me for $75. I said no. I had an other lady. She gave me a price of $100. Now keep in mind, Parshmark does take 20%. So I'm down to like maybe close to $80, close to $77, which is still fine. It's one of, I've never made anything over that amount. I've always sold items for 20, 30, 15, 8, 7, 6 dollars, never anything over like the $100 mark. And I was so happy. So I wrapped it up for her. Um, she said $100. I, I said yes. I took the offer because I knew at that point if I didn't take this $100, this dress could sit there for a while. And I was getting a little bit nervous. I did not put it on eBay. I put it on Poshmark because I feel like not that I felt like it wouldn't get sold on eBay. I just felt like this particular brand, when I looked up, I did saw a lot of people listed on Poshmark. I did see another seller listed for $200 that did not get sold for $200. So I figured a fair price was $135. Now, a little trick, if you guys have high brands that you're trying to sell quick, put it for higher than what you want. I knew I want $100, but my buyer doesn't know that. So I, I leave room for those to set me offers. I like to do that, leave room to, for offers. So that was my biggest sale, guys. I was so happy I made that sale on Poshmark. Thank you so much for watching my video. And if I didn't say in the beginning, happy Monday. I hope to see you guys next time. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Like this channel. And guys, please subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to get to 500 subscribers. I've been on this, on this platform for a very long time. I don't know. Do my videos suck? I don't know. Like, I'm trying to be honest. I don't know what the problem is. But please help me out. If you like this video, show me support. Subscribe to my channel. Hit the like button. Hope to see you guys next time. Bye-bye.